So welcome to your third Bootstrap 3 tutorial. In this video we're going to be creating the footer bar that sticks to the bottom of the browser. Uh, so yeah, so this is the footer bar. It's basically just a nav bar, except we're going to use the white version. We're going to put some text on it and a button in the bottom right. Now you can customize this however you want. You can have a look at the Bootstrap documentation for this. Uh, put whatever items you want. If you need like a login bar or something, or a search bar at the bottom, you can do whatever you want. Or you could even make it a dark version like we did in the navigation bar if you want to. So I'm going to jump right to our code. This isn't quite as complicated as the navigation bar. Uh, it doesn't. It only requires a few lines of code, so it's quite simple. So first we're going to create a div with a class equal to navbar again, like we did before, and then just close it off. Oops. So slash div. And then inside of here, we're going to have a div with a with a class equal to container and this is going to make sure it's all uh, centered horizontally on the screen and everything so close that off the next thing I'm going to do is have a p so a p tag for a paragraph and I'm going to put site built by Neil Row. so now if we save that and we refresh it here sorry wrong one we refresh it you see it says site built by Neil Row, and some style, we need to do some other styles to our div class navbar. So we need to do navbar dash default, or you can do navbar dash inverse if you want the black version. So now, if we save that and we refresh it, you see it's now white. And the next thing we need to do is pull it to the bottom. So we're going to do fixed, sorry, navbar dash fixed dash bottom. And that makes sure that it's fixed to the bottom. So now, if we save it, you can now see that it's at the bottom of the browser and it's slightly greyish it's a little bit hard to see, I have to actually put my head down to see it because of where I'm sitting but it is there, it's just quite uh, faint the next thing you want to do is make sure that this uh, text is properly styled so it's centered vertically so that's really simple, you could do, a, do p, p, p class equals and then navbar dash text not navbar, navbar save that, refresh it, and you see it's got the correct styling. It's now slightly greyish as well, which looks good, and it's centered vertically. Next thing you want to do is the button that goes along the right and says subscribe on YouTube. So this is quite easy, we're just, we're just going to do a class is equal to navbar dash button, close, off, close it off and go subscribe on YouTube. Now if we save that, and refresh it you see it's just giving us a link as a normal button that's the default button just a link so now we need to tell it what kind of button to be so we can go to head over to getbootstrap.com and CSS and then buttons you can see all the different types of buttons so we've got default primary success info warning danger and link so I want to use this danger one not because it, it's any problem with this button just because it's red and that kind of matches our theme and everything and subscribe button is red on YouTube and everything so we're going to use btn-danger so here to go btn-danger and then save it and refresh and you see now we're getting that button effect we're, sorry it's, it's going red the last thing we need to do is give it the uh, global btn class now this is just a standard class which is used for all kinds of buttons this one is giving it the styles just for the nav, nav bar, but then we need to import all the rest of the styles. So now if we refresh that, you see it's a proper button. The last thing we want to do is make sure that this goes over to the right. So this is simple. Bootstrap gives us some built-in classes, float left and, sorry, not that, uh, pull left and pull right, and those just basically equate to float left and float right in CSS. So for our button, we're going to do is float dash right, sorry, not float, pull dash right, And then for the navbar text, pull dash left. Save it and refresh. Okay, so what's happening here is the button uh, isn't centered vertically. And the reason for that is because I was stupid and I accidentally put a button, it's supposed to be BTN. So save that and refresh and it's fine. So sorry about that mistake, uh, a little bit of a mistake. Uh, but yeah, it's now working and it all looks good. So you can link this up obviously just set the a href equal to hash 
or you can put http colon slash slash youtube.com forward slash codes guide or whatever just like that so now if we refresh and you click on the button it's going to take you to my channel so if we go back uh, yeah so that's our photo bar it's all looking really nice if we were to have content on here and we scroll it's always going to stay at the bottom of their browser view not just at the bottom of the site so it'll scroll with the site so that's it for this tutorial don't forget to comment rate and subscribe i found it useful and i'll see you in the next video